I think the national defense strategy describes the near-peer threat in a way that the uh, force that can observe, orient, decide and act the quickest is uh, going to have an advantage. The ability for the uh, joint forces, uh, Air Force, Space Force, Army, Navy, Marines, uh, to collectively uh, pull their data together and their command and control construct together uh, will be a force multiplier for them. We are working through the process of understanding what data paths, uh, what communication links, uh, what types of translation might have to occur. Uh, find the simple mechanism to join the systems together first and foremost, understand how the systems will operate in a joint fashion, and then allow that formalization of, well, what are the standards and the uniqueness, uniqueness of those that need to bring be brought to bear. And by being open, particularly when you look at something like an open mission system kind of construct, which revolves around applications, uh, you can very quickly update software, uh, know it's going to work when you, when you plug it in, and not have to redesign the entire system around one fundamental change that might occur. And that's just going to be fundamentally necessary when you look at the speed at which the threat changes and our need to adapt to that threat on a very rapid recurring basis. So across uh, each of the forces, Northrop Grumman has been a key player in establishing end-to-end -end battle management capabilities. Uh, and so our ability to think about the way we would bring some of those to the forefront of joint all domain C2 and connect them in a way that really does enable that joint all domain construct, that joint all domain C2 construct is going to be, uh, I think, something that we can easily think about and team with our uh, DOD partners and enable in a very rapid fashion. Our systems are connecting the joint force as one.